Hey guys, welcome back to the Whiskey and Whitetails YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us. What I have for you today is a DIY build of an ozone sink control box. So years ago, I received a, an ozone duffel bag from one of your big brand manufacturers. And the bottom line is after about four weeks, the duffel bag itself broke down the zipper, the seam around the zipper started to rip and eventually tore completely. And so what I did then was I took the ozone box, repurposed it, mounted it to the side of a sort of a storage tote and used that as my, my storage and scent control box for, for the hunting season. Fast forward after last year, and the ozone box is now from this big brand crapped out and doesn't work so it's time to rebuild another one and i thought it would be beneficial to show you folks at home how you can do the same thing and rather than spend the 150 to 300 dollars on one of these units depending on what kind and size you get you can do this buying all brand new stuff for for about 80 bucks and even less if you repurpose some things at home so we'll jump right into it any of the stuff that i mentioned in terms of products or or pieces of equipment that i purchased to make this there'll be links for in the description so you can do this yourself at home you can follow along whatever's easiest and most beneficial for you so the first thing i did was i hopped on amazon and i found an ozone unit that met the needs that I was looking for. Something that could be mounted to a wall, or in this case, a storage container, a storage tote, and came with the, the rubber hosing and a power plug in order to plug it in. So with that, I had nuts and bolts and a, a storage tote that I got from Lowe's in this case. Again, I could have repurposed the one I'd already used, but I wanted to change the configuration a little bit, so I bought a brand new one. And then last but not least, some electrical tape to hold some of the hosing in place. Also, some window sealant or window seal foam, which you can buy at a hardware store or Walmart. Once you have all that stuff together, the first thing you need to do is identify where it is you want to mount your ozone unit. On the initial build I did the first time around, I put the ozone box on the more narrow side of the box because I thought it would take up less room. But what ended up happening is when I tried to plug that in and charge it, particularly when I'm in my truck, think long road trip and you're within an hour of your destination to hunt, you wanna plug that in and get it, get it going before you get there. I found that I had less real estate on the power cord to plug it in and it was a little harder to reach the controls uh, to turn it on or off or to take a look at how much time was left. So this time around, I'm gonna mount it on the, the broader side of the, the box and so the first thing you need to do is identify the width of the mounting holes in the back, mark those and drill your pilot holes for your bolts. I used bolts with two nuts that allowed me to tighten the bolts or the nuts together to keep the bolt a little bit of distance away from the box itself to allow them to slide easily into the mounting holes of the ozone unit itself. From there, after getting that situated and getting the uh, the ozone unit where I wanted it and the bolts in place, I identified where I wanted to run the, the hose to run the actual ozone into the box. Initially for the first build, I ran it at the bottom and then from the inside of the box, I ran the hose up towards the top. The reason I want the hose to end at the top is so that the, the ozone can circulate more through the box. This time around, however, I don't wanna run the hose up towards the top from the inside because I want to minimize the amount of clothing and gear that bumps up against the hose and potentially pinches it. So I'm going to run that from the outside and I use a little bit of electrical tape to hold it in place because it's cheap and it's what I have on hand. So after I get that hole drilled and the hose run through there, I will I'll cut the, the hose to, to fit my needs. You can do that however you like. After that, the, the final step is really to just take the window seal foam, which is self-adhesive, and cut the pieces to match along the border of where the lid sits on top of the tote. This provides a seal and helps keep some of the ozone from escaping outside of the box and make the process of, of the unit more efficient. As I said previously, you can get all of these items 
at your with the exception of the ozone box i haven't seen those at, 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 a, at a local hardware store but i was able to get that online for about 45 bucks a little less than 50 after taxes if you have the other items laying around the house which a lot of folks do you can do this whole build for less than 50 dollars and save yourself several hundred uh, in the process if you choose to do this it'd be cool for you to send us a photo share us your share with us your build let us know any any challenges you had or how you might have done things differently we'll share those on our social media send us a message or a dm on instagram or facebook twitter you can send it to info at whiskey and and uh, we'd like to take a look and see how you chose to to do your own build in addition if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those down below also don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and like this video that helps us grow and get more of this kind of information in front of you until next time, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.